Hello, I'm Necro, and today I'm going to be walking you through the Adventurer's Tome of Ozhorn Hill. We're going to be starting out at the Assembly Area Triport. We'll begin by leaving town and heading south. Take a left at the branch and hug this wall and you'll see your first Makoko Seed. From the seed, continue along the corridor. Once you're in about this area, we're going to find the Stinging Wallow Cactus. So pick him up if you didn't in the last video. We've got a few things to grab in the ruins here. At the very southmost tip of the map, in these pots, you'll see a seed. Coming up the stairs from the seed, if you hang a right up these stairs, and follow it to the end of the path, take out the Mimics of Monsters and at this hole right here if you investigate it, you'll find the old Onkavian food chest. Whenever you get a chance, we're going to take this to the Nomad Camp and give it to Hella to craft the Salted Food Box. From the center of the ruins, if you come up these stairs, take a left, head to the end of this platform, cross this beam, and search against this wall right here. When you find the investigate pop-up, go ahead and check that for the Mirage Hidden Story. After you've gotten that, we can go to the northeast right here. And just in this corner right here, a Makoko Seed. Finally, tucked away in this little corner here, you're going to find the reanimated Chieftain Monster Mark. So just go ahead and kill him. Now we're leaving the ruins through the northeast exit. You'll find your next monster market about this area here. We're going to kill the White Sand Bolchi boss. Slap him down. And just to the southeast of where he spawns, tucked away in this little box here, you'll find another seed. And just as a quick note, here at the entrance to Silent Hill, we have Marina as a report in PC. She has the Force Minuet as her song, and Agree as her emote. So if you just spend some time with her, eventually you'll get that rapport bar up, and you can finish her up here in the rapport category. Okay, and now we're going to head back to the assembly area. From town, we're going to leave and head west at the outpost on the map. I've already completed it, but Nomad Warrior Alden will have the quest that you need to complete to do Source of Demons. Once you've done that quest, we're going to head to the southwest again. At about here on the mini-map, we're looking for the strong Worm Fist monster mark. It's pretty easy to spot because he's so big, so slap him down. From his spawn, we're going to take a slight detour to the south, to this little nub that's jutting out, and right here beside these broken pots is another seed. We're going to pass up the dungeon for now and head to this small section of the map beside of it. Here in the corner, you'll find another seed. Continue hugging the wall as we make our way north, and you'll run into the alluring shaman monster mark. And we'll just be continuing along the outside edge of the map. In this little divot where it says Merchant Camp, we're going to look behind this wagon for another seed. In approximately the same area, if you didn't get it in Silent Hill, we'll have another chance at Boss Pangolin. In the center of Merchant Camp by this tower right here, you'll see in the bush another seed. And if we run straight north from the seed, we'll find a vista. Now that we have everything in the main zone, we're going to head over to the dungeon Sapira Cave. Once you're here, make sure you select whatever difficulty you need that you haven't completed yet. Once we're inside, we're going to be doing dungeon objectives until we make it past this first jump and to the end of the path. At the end of the path through the gauntlet of monsters, you'll be rewarded with a seed. Now slide down to the next part of the dungeon. Once you do, get yourself some breathing room and right where you landed, you'll notice a seed. Just a little further, the dirty mucus lump monster mark will spawn, so slap it down. Once it's dead, if you just look right here at this sack, you can investigate it. You'll find the hidden Incavian liquor bottle. Again, we're going to be taking that back to Hella. With that in tow, we're going to continue on with the dungeon. Climb up the vines. Kill Mucus Demon Muckus. And when you come to the branching paths here, you're going to notice a lever. Go ahead and pull that. A torch will light up. If you come to the south, on this wooden platform, you'll find the second one. The other torch will light up. With both torches lit, we can walk through here. And you can earn yourself two seeds. Now we're going to go to the right and climb up these vines. Along the way, you're going to run into the corrupted red-eyed rock demon. Slap him down. And once you get to the end of the path, search the water to the right for one seed, and finish following the path to the left for a second seed. Returning to the branchy paths, now we're going to finish walking to the left. After destroying the slime clumps and clearing out the monsters in the middle of this bush, you'll see a seed. Continue along the path. As you make your way towards the end, about right here, you'll kill some enhanced worm fists. Once you kill them, you'll notice this is a false wall you can walk through. And inside, there are two seeds. And then, just finish the dungeon. Afterwards, you might want to take the liquor bottle to Hella, 
the Nomad Camp, and Silent Hill. And that's it for Oshorn Hill and Udia. If this video helped you at all, consider leaving me a like, it would mean a lot. Subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the series. Comment down below if there's something you'd like me to do better, and until then, that's all from me. See ya!